case of solving for converse, inverse, and contrapositive of a conditional statement. So we have this conditional statement, P implies Q. So the converse of this conditional statement, that's Q, implies P. And for the inverse, it's not P, implies not Q. Then the contrapositive, it's not Q, implies not P. So we have this conditional statement, if two angles are congruent, then the triangle is an isosceles triangle. So this is uh, P, two angles are congruent, then the triangle is an isosceles triangle, that's our Q, and that's implies. So P implies Q. Then to get the converse, this conditional statement, we have this Q implies P. So the statement now, that's if the triangle is an isosceles triangle, then two angles are congruent. So this is the in converse. Then for the inverse, that's not P implies Q. So the statement now, if two angles are not congruent, there's a negation, then the triangle is not an isosceles triangle. So this is the inverse. And to get the contrapositive, so that's not Q implies not P. So if the triangle is not an isosceles triangle, then two angles are not congruent. This is the contrapositive. So this is how to find the converse, inverse, and contrapositive of a conditional statement.